What's up guys, Sam Antini here, and I wanted to make a special video for you guys because I always get asked a lot of the similar, like, same questions, and I figured why not make a video answering the top 10 questions that I get asked most frequently. I'm charging my car, so I'm just like, you know what, I got 10 minutes, why don't I do that now? So that's what this video and podcast is. So welcome, uh, hopefully I answer some of the questions that you maybe have been wondering yourself. Um, and yeah, let me jump into it, but before I do, let me just remind you that these hoodies are only available until December 22nd, which is a Sunday, and until like midnight. So if you haven't yet and you want one, make sure you go to tpshstore.com to get yours today. You can customize it by putting your name and number on the back, but they are all honestly the best hoodies you will ever buy. They're soft, they're warm, they're comfortable. The fact that they're custom, I think they look amazing. So make sure you go to tpshstore.com to get yours before the sale is over. So with that being said, guys, let's just jump right into this Q&A. So the first question I usually get asked is, how tall are you? I'm 183 centimeters, which is I think six foot and like a half inch. So let's just say six foot even, that's how tall I am. The next question I usually get asked then is, well, what pad size do you wear? Currently I am wearing a 34 plus 1.5. I originally had a 34 plus two and that was actually a little bit too big. So the 34 plus 1.5 actually works really well for me. The next question I usually get asked is how long have you been playing or how many years have you played? And now I've played hockey since I was about five years old and I'm 28, but I did take a few years off in between college and men's league. I'd probably say maybe two, three years at most. So I'm confident in saying that I've been playing at least 20 years for sure, maybe 21, um, but for sure 20 years I've been on the ice. And as a goalie, it's probably between 18 and 19 years because the first year was like learning how to skate and all that stuff. And the second year it was like rotating between player and goalie. The next question I usually get asked is, what got you into playing hockey or into hockey in general? And I got to give that credit all to my mother. She enjoys the sport. She watched it before I was even into it. And I think growing up with her, and her watching it, I would naturally watch it. And then as I saw goalies, I was like, wow, goalies look cool. They got all this amazing equipment on. Um, that looks awesome. But it wasn't until I actually played being like played a, being a goalie um, or it wasn't until I tried being a goalie. That's when I realized that this is what I want to do. So that's kind of how I got into hockey. It was because of my mom. So thank you. Um, the next question I usually get asked is what is my favorite team? Well, if anybody doesn't know already, I'm from Toronto, so my favorite team is the Toronto Maple Leafs. However, I love Marc-Andre Fleury, and the moment he got, like, he went to Las Vegas, I saw him in his gear and his, like, the colors and everything, and I was like, okay, I am cheering for Las Vegas. I didn't care who was on the team, I just like Marc-Andre Fleury, so I'm like, I'm going to cheer for him. And they did really well their first season, they're still doing pretty well, so I'm happy to cheer for them as well. Um, so the next question I usually get asked, which I kind of just answered, was, well, who is your favorite goalie? And as well as Marc-Andre Fleury, he is really up there. It's really hard to, like, choose between the two of them, but when I'm talking goalies who are currently playing, I think it's Marc-Andre Fleury. Frederick Anderson, then Carey Price. I think those are my three top favorite goalies in that order. Um, Frederick Anderson, although he is a Leaf and it might be biased, he is a brick wall. Like He's won them so many games because of how good he is. And that's what I really look up to when he's like, he's pretty consistent for the most part. And you can always count on him to get, like, get your back. And I appreciate that. Marc-Andre Fleury, because of his personality and also he is really talented. He makes amazing saves all the time, very consistent. Um, and yeah, I think I really love his personality when it comes to playing because he definitely looks like he's having fun out there. And when I think of hockey and I think of playing, I think of it being fun. I don't think of it as being a stressful job that you have to do. I think of it as a way of like just going out and enjoying yourself. So seeing somebody like Marc-Andre Fleury having fun while he's out there, smiling after making big saves, giving players wet willy, stuff like that. To me, like that's okay, cool. Like he definitely enjoys it. And Price, he's just been a solid goaltender for most of his career. Um, obviously, he's had a few bad seasons, but ultimately he's not on the best team. And that's sometimes hard for goalies when you're on not the greatest team because then your your team is relying on you even more. And that's why I really respect Carey Price because he's done a lot for Montreal. Um, and I wish that he would win a cup because I think he deserves it. So 
Anyways, moving on. The next thing I usually get asked is, what is your favorite equipment? Um, and you know what? This is a hard one to answer because I haven't tried it at all. So if you ever ask me, hey, do you recommend Bauer this or CCM that or Warrior this? You know what? It's hard for me to say whether or not I would recommend it because I haven't physically used it. And I don't want to like tell you guys something that I don't truly believe in. So unless I physically have tried it, then I don't want to tell you whether or not it's good. Now from people's other people's opinions, like opinions and videos and breakdowns of the gear, I could say it looks like it's better. Or might it sounds like it might be better, um, but I can never tell you go out and buy this. Like I can never go and recommend something I haven't physically tried. So when it comes to my favorite gear, I love the gear that I have, which is a CCM um, E Flex three set with my Vaughn VE8 Pro Carbon Chest Protector. I got my old set of Bodum pat like pants, which I'm probably gonna upgrade. I don't know to what. Um, I got my Bauer 960 XPM helmet, which I really do love. I highly recommend anybody uh, who's buying a new helmet to look at it. I know it's really expensive, but it's also worth it. It's your head, protect it. And then I got an old Vaughn neck guard and jock, which those are the first and only goalie neck guards and jocks I have ever bought. So I truly love Vaughn. They do last a while, but when it comes to pads, I don't I don't think I like their pads as much. Um, I like the butterfly hybrid type, of, well, more butterfly style than like the hybrid like the Vaughn's offer. So anyways, when it comes to favorite gear, that's what I can only recommend what I have tried. So the next question I usually get asked is how sharp do I like my skates? And you know what? At first, I always liked them dull. I thought I liked them dull because it was easier to shuffle. But then uh, another goalie told me, well, why don't you try 5 eighths? I think you're going to like it. Yes, it's sharper, but I think you'll do better with it. So I tried it out, and at first it was harder because shuffling became a lot more difficult because they were sharper. But then what I realized is once I was down in the butterfly, being able to slide across the crease was a lot easier because my skates were sharper. So I've now consistently gone with a 5 8 sharpen rather than like a quarter. And that's because I also don't sharpen my skates that often. So the 5 8 actually last longer. But once it gets a little dull, I notice and I'm like, I got to get these sharpened again. Um, so yeah, that's how sharp I get my skates. The next question I usually get asked is, what do you do for a living? What is your job? Because I mentioned that I film, I go around the world, and I do this stuff. And I'm going to give a little bit more context. So I work with a software company called ClickFunnels, and we are their production company. So we make all their like promotional videos when they're selling a book or when they're, when they're hosting a live event. Or like the last trip that I just went on where I took an RV around the United States, we like to tell the success stories of people who use the software ClickFunnels. So that's what I do, but my title, which we don't really have titles, but I'm like the video production manager at ClickFunnels Studios. That would be like my title um, if I were to give myself that. So that's pretty much what I do because on top of filming and editing, I actually manage our team, which is really exciting because we actually, we went from three people in the last like year and a half to now we have, we're almost at eight people. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we, we love the fact that we're able to grow or whatever. But anyways, so that's my job. I make videos for a living, which is natural for me to make a YouTube channel because that's making videos. So that is my job. The next question I usually get asked, and this is number 10, is what advice would you give to a goalie who's just starting out or a new goalie or a young goalie? Basically, what advice would you give to somebody who have, hasn't played goalie or have only played for a couple times? And now there's a lot of good advice that I can give you, but the simplest answer is basically focus on the fundamentals when it comes to skating. If you've never worn goalie skates or you just started wearing them, focus on T-pushes, shuffles, and like backward skating, C cuts, and all the fundamentals when it comes to skating. Because if you can't skate as a goalie, then you won't be able to recover up and down. You know, you won't be able to do the uh, like butterfly slides or you know power pushes and all that stuff. Like you just won't be able to play at your optimal level if you aren't a, a very good skater. And actually, they say that the goalies on any team, whether it's in the NHL or, or lower, should be the best skaters on the team because you're constantly getting up and down and you have to always be balanced and centered. And it's just so much work when it comes to being a goalie, when it comes to skating as well. So I know that was kind of a maybe confusing answer, but ultimately just focus on your skating. Get out to as many public skatings, um, get on the ice as much as you can, whether it's scrimmages or actual games, do whatever you can to just get on the ice as much as you can, because that's the only way you're going to improve your skating. You cannot improve your skating by reading a book, by bouncing a ball off a wall, 
or anything like that. The only way you can improve your skating is by actually going out and doing it. Even rollerblading wouldn't be the same because you can't shuffle. Um, you can't do the same movements as you would on the ice as a goalie. So that's my biggest advice. If you're just starting out as a goalie, focus on your skating. Now, if you're past skating and you're good at that and you want what the next thing is to focus on, basically I would say focus on depth control. Figure out how far you should be out when you're challenging a shooter and figure out how, like, when to start going backwards into your net and basically cutting down the angle. That would be the next thing I'd focus on. Reacting and, like, catching the puck and making sure it goes into the corner and butterfly sl uh, slides and, and all that good stuff all will come after you figured out where you need to be positionally on the ice when making those saves. So those are basically the top 10 questions I get asked the most. Now I wanted to announce one more thing and I think it's something that you guys are really going to like. I've been thinking about a lot lately how can I help you guys more? I know that you watch my videos and you enjoy my goals against breakdown. When I get scored on I explain why I think that puck went in and I think a lot of you guys have found that it's helpful and I was thinking what else can I do to provide even more value because one of the things that I know some people might think is that I'm not a professional goalie coach. I've never played in the NHL or the OHL or really, really high end. Um, so why should I try to offer advice to like other goalies? And there's one thing that I learned from growing up and from anything that I've done in life is that you don't always necessarily need to learn from the person who is the expert. You don't always need to learn from the person who does it the best. What I've learned is that you could always learn something from somebody who's just one or two steps ahead of where you are right now. So although I'm not a professional goalie coach and although I'm never played in a really, really high level of hockey, I know that there's a lot of goalies who are starting out who watch my content and appreciate me breaking down why I let in goals because you guys have found that to help you as well. So going back and forth over the long, like I'm thinking for the last year or so, I've been thinking what else can I do to help you guys? And I think I finally came up with a solution and something that I think you guys are really going to enjoy and get value out of. Now, I'm not going to share with you what it is at this moment because I wanted this video just to be strictly about the top 10 questions I usually get asked. But what I'm thinking about doing is a live stream on YouTube this Saturday to break it all down because this could probably go on for about half an hour if I want to go into detail about what it is. But basically, I think it's a solution to the question that I had is how can I help you guys more? And it's something that I think you guys are going to get tremendous value from. So if you're interested in getting better and you really like my content and my videos and you find them helpful, then make sure you tune in on Saturday. I don't know what time yet to the live stream because that is when I'm going to explain exactly what it is that I'm going to be doing. So make sure you mark it down on a calendar, turn on the notification bell on YouTube so you do not miss out because if you forget to write it down, you'll still get the notification of when I go live. So again, I'm not going to share what it is right now, but trust me, I think it's something you're going to enjoy, especially if you found that you are getting better from watching these videos. So with that being said, guys, I truly do appreciate you guys watching and or listening to this podcast. I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't yet, go to tpshstore.com today, get your hoodies, and that's it. I will see you guys in the next video, which I believe will be a game. So until then, I will see you on the ice.